High mountains, Antarctica, and frozen waters possess an extraordinary ability to preserve relics of the past for indefinite long periods. This phenomenon has unearthed mind-blowing treasures from the icy depths. In Antarctica, ancient fossils reveal the secrets of prehistoric life, while high-altitude glaciers encase rare artifacts, preserving history's forgotten whispers. These frozen realms act as time capsules, offering a glimpse into our planet's rich and mysterious past, making each discovery a breathtaking journey through time. Join us as we explore the 20 most incredible things found in ice. Number 20. Otzi the Iceman Otzi the Iceman, also known as the Cimalon Man, is perhaps one of the most famous archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. In 1991, high in the Otztal Alps on the border of Austria and Italy, hikers stumbled upon a mummified body protruding from the ice. This incredible find would rewrite the history books and provide a fascinating glimpse into a prehistoric world. Otzi lived around 5,300 years ago during the late Neolithic period, making him one of the oldest naturally preserved human bodies ever found. His remarkably well-preserved remains offered a treasure trove of information about life in Europe during that era. The circumstances of Otzi's preservation were critical to his incredible state of conservation. Shortly after his death, he was covered by snow and ice, protecting him from scavengers and decomposition. The freezing conditions also desiccated his body, preventing it from rotting. This natural mummification process and the glacier's gradual movement preserved him for millennia. Otzi's clothing and equipment provided invaluable insights into his daily life. He wore a coat made of woven grass and a fur cap, indicating a sophisticated understanding of materials and clothing for insulation. He carried a wealth of tools, including a copper axe, a quiver of arrows, a knife, and a backpack made of animal hide. These possessions revealed his resourcefulness and adaptability in the harsh alpine environment. However, Otzi's story took a tragic turn when researchers discovered an arrowhead lodged in his shoulder, suggesting he met a violent end. Further examination of his body revealed that he suffered from various health issues, including joint problems and intestinal parasites. It is believed that Otzi was a seasoned traveler and a member of a close-knit community, given his well-preserved tattoos, which may have served a therapeutic purpose. Today, Otzi rests in the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Bolzano, Italy, where he continues to captivate researchers and visitors alike. Number 19. Lake Vostok Lake Vostok's discovery dates back to the 1950s when Soviet scientists conducted ice core drilling in Antarctica. The discovery of an unusually smooth ice layer over the lake led to the realization that a massive body of water lay beneath the ice, isolated from the outside world for millions of years. This isolated ecosystem has since piqued the curiosity of scientists worldwide. What makes Lake Vostok particularly fascinating is its extreme environment. It lies buried beneath approximately 4,000 meters of ice, which creates immense pressure and keeps the water temperature below freezing. Despite these harsh conditions, the lake has remained liquid due to geothermal heat emanating from the Earth's interior. Russian scientists successfully drilled into Lake Vostok and obtained water samples from its depths in 2012. These samples contained microbial life, albeit at extremely low levels. The discovery of life in such an inhospitable environment has profound implications for astrobiology and our understanding of the limits of life on Earth. Earth and potentially on other planets and moons in our solar system. Number 18. Molly Virus what they discovered frozen in ice shocked the whole world. The story of how the Molly virus was found in ice begins in 2015, when a team of scientists embarked on a groundbreaking expedition to study the permafrost in the Siberian region of Russia. This region is well known for its exceptionally cold temperatures and contains some of Earth's oldest and most well-preserved permafrost deposits. Permafrost is a soil, rock, or sediment layer that remains below freezing temperature for at least two consecutive years. The scientists Scientists were primarily interested in understanding the permafrost dynamics and its potential impact on climate change. They were drilling deep into the permafrost, collecting core samples to analyze its composition when they stumbled upon something unexpected. As they thawed a core sample taken from the Kalima River region, they discovered a microscopic entity that appeared to be a virus. Upon closer examination, the scientists realized they had discovered a new type of giant virus, similar to the previously discovered Pandora viruses and Python 
polymythoviruses. The Molly virus is part of a group of viruses known as giant viruses due to their relatively large size compared to typical viruses. They can be up to 10 times larger than many other viruses and contain complex genetic material. One of the most astonishing aspects of the discovery was the virus's remarkable preservation. It had remained viable and infectious even after being frozen for thousands of years in the permafrost. This finding raised intriguing questions about the potential risks of thawing permafrost regions due to climate change. As global temperatures rise, the permafrost begins to thaw, potentially releasing ancient viruses and bacteria into the environment. Number 17. Franklin Expedition Ships the Franklin Expedition ships, the HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, are synonymous with one of the most infamous tragedies in the history of Arctic exploration. The expedition set sail in 1845 to discover the elusive Northwest Passage, a fabled sea route through the Arctic, linking the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, led by Sir John Franklin, a British Royal Navy officer. The two ships, Erebus and Terror, were specially reinforced and fitted for the harsh Arctic conditions. They were equipped with steam engines and carried an extensive library scientific instruments, and enough provisions to sustain the crew for several years. Despite these preparations, the expedition faced unforeseen challenges. The ships became trapped in the ice off King William Island, and they could not break free as the years passed. Tragically, the entire crew perished in the harsh conditions. The precise cause of their deaths remains a subject of speculation, with theories including lead poisoning from canned food and exposure to the extreme cold. For decades, the fate of the Franklin expedition remained a mystery, but numerous expeditions and archaeological efforts have shed light on their story over the years. The discovery of the Erebus in 2014 and the Terror in 2016, remarkably well preserved on the Arctic seabed, has provided valuable insights into the expedition's final days. Number 16. Inca Maiden the discovery of the Inca Maiden, Juanita, in 1995 high in the Andes Mountains of Peru was a remarkable archaeological find. Three mountaineers stumbled upon her mummified remains on the slopes of Mount Ampato, offering a rare glimpse into the customs and rituals of the Inca civilization. Juanita's body was astonishingly well-preserved, with her skin, hair, and clothing still intact. She was found wearing traditional Inca garments and surrounded by offerings, including ceramics, textiles, and tools, carefully arranged as offerings to the gods. Her discovery shed light on a dark but integral aspect of Inca culture human sacrifice. Juanita was likely a young girl, around 12 to 15, chosen as a capacocha or coilur riti, a sacred maiden offered to the gods in elaborate ceremonies held high in the mountains. Her journey to her final resting place on Mount Ampato would have been physically demanding and spiritually significant. Today, Juanita is preserved in a refrigerated chamber at the Museo Santuarios Andinos in Arequipa, Peru. Number 15. Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus stands as a powerful testament to the planet's geological wonders, rising majestically from the icy landscape of Antarctica's Ross Island, named after the British Royal Navy ship HMS Erebus, which was used during Captain James Clark Ross's 1841 expedition to Antarctica. This stratovolcano is not only Earth's southernmost active volcano, but also a fascinating realm of scientific discovery. At an impressive 3,794 meters above sea level, Mount Erebus commands the skyline of Ross Island, one of Antarctica's iconic features. Its imposing presence is marked by a continuous plume of volcanic gas emanating from its summit. What sets Erebus apart is its perpetually active lava lake nestled within its crater, a feature shared by only a handful of other volcanoes worldwide. Mount Erebus is renowned for its frequent volcanic activity. Eruptions occur here with notable regularity, characterized by the emission of gases, ash, and sometimes even lava flows. The enduring lava lake within its crater provides a unique opportunity for scientists to examine an active volcano's inner workings closely. One of the most intriguing aspects of Mount Erebus is the discovery of microbial life within its hostile environment. These unique microorganisms thrive in the volcano's volcanic gases and extreme cold, offering vital insights into the potential for life to exist on other celestial bodies with similar conditions, such as Jupiter's moon, Europa. Number 14. Skeleton Lake. 
Rup Kund Lake, commonly known as the Skeleton Lake, is a mysterious and hauntingly beautiful high-altitude lake nestled in India's remote reaches of the Himalayas. This secluded glacial lake, located at an altitude of approximately 5,029 meters, hides an eerie secret beneath its crystal-clear waters, the remains of hundreds of ancient individuals. The Skeleton Lake first gained international attention in 1942 when a forest ranger made a gruesome discovery. While roaming the area, he stumbled upon the skeletal remains of numerous human bodies scattered in and around the lake. Initially thought to be the result of a recent tragedy, further research revealed that these bones were ancient. The origin of these human remains has intrigued scientists, historians, and adventurers for decades. Initially, it was believed that the individuals had perished in a single catastrophic event, such as an avalanche or a sudden hailstorm. However, subsequent investigations have unearthed more complex theories. Recent scientific studies, including DNA analysis and radiocarbon dating, have shed light on the mysterious deaths at Rup Kund. It is now believed that the individuals died in multiple episodes over several centuries. Some skeletons exhibit blunt force trauma, likely from hailstones, while others show evidence of being struck by sharp-edged objects. Additionally, the presence of many people from different regions, as suggested by their physical characteristics and the artifacts found with them raises questions about what brought them to this remote location. Number 13. Allen Hills Meteorite The Allen Hills Meteorite, discovered in Antarctica, represents a unique and captivating chapter in studying our solar system's history. These meteorites, which have endured the harshest conditions on Earth, provide scientists with invaluable insights into the formation and composition of celestial bodies beyond our planet. The story of the Allen Hills Meteorite Collection began on December 1984, when a field team from the U.S. Antarctic Search for Meteorites program uncovered a meteorite in the Allen Hills region of Antarctica. Antarctica. This initial discovery would lead to a series of subsequent findings, solidifying Allen Hills as a prolific source of meteorites. These meteorites, primarily originating from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, are diverse, each offering a glimpse into different aspects of our solar system's history. The meteorites are composed of various minerals, metals, and organic compounds, making them a treasure trove for researchers seeking to understand the building blocks of our universe. Number 12. Cave Bear Frozen in Time in a remarkable scientific find, a 3,500-year-old cave bear was discovered perfectly preserved in the permafrost of the Russian Arctic. This extraordinary discovery offers a rare glimpse into Earth's prehistoric past, shedding light on when these massive creatures roamed the northern regions. In 2020, Russian scientists stumbled upon the astonishingly well-preserved remains of a cave bear, Ursus Spilaius, on the Lyakovsky Islands in the Russian Arctic. The bear's carcass was found in the permafrost with fur, teeth, and internal organs still intact. This serendipitous discovery captured the attention of researchers and the public alike. Cave bears were formidable creatures that lived during the Pleistocene epoch, from about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. They were massive, herbivorous animals closely related to modern brown bears. These prehistoric giants were adapted to the frigid conditions of the Ice Age and primarily inhabited caves, which served as their dens. The exceptional preservation of the cave cave bear was made possible by the permafrost. The frigid temperatures of the Arctic prevented the rapid decomposition of the animal's remains. The bear's flesh, fur, and bones were remarkably intact, providing an unprecedented opportunity for scientific study. Number 11. Tunic of Lend Breen the tunic of Lend Breen was discovered in 2011 by archaeologists conducting research in the Lend Breen area of Norway's mountainous Jotunheimen region. This pristine tunic, along with other artifacts, had been preserved for centuries in the ice and snow, protected from the ravages of time. From the late 8th century to the early 11th century, the Viking era was characterized by seafaring expeditions, exploration, and expansion across Europe. The Vikings, known for their skilled craftsmanship and robust clothing, played a pivotal role in shaping the medieval world's history. The tunic of Lend Breen is more than just a piece of clothing. It is a direct link to the past. This well-preserved artifact provides invaluable insights into Viking attire, showcasing the craftsmanship and attention to detail that went into creating garments during that era. The tunic is made of wool and features a diamond twill pattern, demonstrating the Viking's expertise in textile production. It is tailored with great care, underscoring the importance of clothing and protecting against the elements and as a symbol of social status. The discovery of this garment reinforces the understanding that the Vikings placed a premium on clothing quality and design. Number 10. Morris Wilson's Frozen Legacy 
Maurice Wilson's story is of audacity and tragedy set against the backdrop of the world's highest peak, Mount Everest. In 1934, this British aviator embarked on a solo expedition to conquer the Everest summit, only to meet an untimely demise that left his frozen body as a stark reminder of the mountain's unforgiving nature. Maurice Wilson, born in 1898, was a man of daring dreams. After teaching himself to fly, he developed a fascination with Mount Everest and conceived an audacious plan to climb the world's tallest mountain. His unorthodox strategy involved crash landing a small plane near the Everest base camp, despite his limited flying and mountaineering experience. Wilson aimed to make a solo ascent of the summit, which had eluded many seasoned climbers. Wilson's expedition was met with skepticism and criticism from the mountaineering community and British authorities. Many believed his venture was reckless and doomed to fail. Nevertheless, undeterred by the naysayers, he embarked on his perilous journey. Wilson managed to crash land his plane in Tibet near the mountain in in April 1934. He spent months at high altitudes, acclimatizing and making his way up the mountain. However, his lack of experience and inadequate equipment became apparent as he faced the harsh Himalayan conditions. He pressed on alone, determined to reach the summit. On May 31, 1934, Maurice Wilson's frozen body was discovered high on the slopes of Mount Everest. He had perished in his solo attempt to conquer the peak. His remains were found by a British expedition led by Eric Shipton. The extreme cold and dangerous conditions had taken their toll. Number 9. Ichthyosaur Fossil in 2016, an extraordinary discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community as researchers stumbled upon the fossilized remains of an ichthyosaur, a captivating prehistoric marine reptile in the icy depths of Antarctica. However, this find was remarkable because it contained not just the preserved skeleton of the adult ichthyosaur, but also the fossilized remains of an embryo within the mother ichthyosaur's body. This fossilized snapshot of a prehistoric pregnancy has unveiled invaluable insights into these ancient marine creatures reproductive biology, behavior, and evolution. The ichthyosaur, a group of marine reptiles that thrived during the Mesozoic era, possessed an appearance resembling that of modern-day dolphins, making them one of the most intriguing creatures of the ancient oceans. The fossilized mother and embryo, dating back millions of years, provide a unique window into the reproductive processes of these magnificent beings. The discovery suggests that ichthyosaurs were viviparous, giving birth to live offspring rather than laying eggs, as many other reptiles do. This adaptation was crucial for their survival in the ancient seas, enabling them to give birth to fully formed young rather than relying on eggs that could be vulnerable to predation. Number 8. Lyuba the discovery of a baby mammoth frozen in ice, exemplified by the well-known Liuba case, is a captivating and scientifically significant event that provides a unique glimpse into the Earth's ancient past. These remarkable finds, preserved in the permafrost of regions like Siberia, offer exceptional levels of preservation, allowing scientists and researchers to gain invaluable insights into these prehistoric giants' biology, behavior, and environment. Liuba, estimated to have lived over 40,000 years years ago during the Pleistocene epoch is a prime example of a baby mammoth discovered in near pristine condition. Her remarkably intact remains include her trunk, skin, hair, and internal organs, making her a treasure trove of scientific information. The level of preservation has enabled researchers to study her diet and stomach contents, and even identify ancient parasites, shedding light on the conditions of her time. The preservation of baby mammoths like Liuba is due to a combination of factors. After death, many of these creatures fell into natural traps such as bogs or crevices where their bodies were encased in ice or peat. This effectively prevented scavengers from reaching the remains and limited decomposition. The cold temperatures of the permafrost played a crucial role in preserving these ancient creatures. Number 7. Mercury in the Melting Permafrost in recent times, a profoundly unsettling revelation has sent shockwaves reverberating throughout the scientific community. A distressing discovery of vast amounts of toxic mercury concealed deep within the receding permafrost of the Arctic. This disconcerting find raises profound concerns about the fragile equilibrium of the Arctic ecosystem, setting alarm bells ringing among environmentalists and researchers alike. To put this disquieting discovery into perspective, scientists have stumbled upon an alarming 56 million 
million liters, or a staggering 15 million gallons of mercury locked within the icy grasp of the Arctic permafrost. This chilling revelation marks this region as the single largest reservoir of mercury anywhere on our planet, eclipsing the quantities found in soils beyond the permafrost's reach. The ramifications of this newfound storehouse of mercury are far-reaching and ominous. As the permafrost continues to thaw due to escalating global temperatures, the risk of releasing this toxic element into the environment increases exponentially. Once liberated, mercury can take multiple paths, posing an imminent threat to ecosystems and human health. One of the most alarming concerns is the potential infiltration of mercury into the water supply. Mercury's propensity to bioaccumulate, particularly in aquatic organisms, means it could make its way up the food chain reaching levels hazardous to marine and terrestrial life. This bioaccumulation of mercury in fish and wildlife can have severe consequences, culminating in potentially grave health risks for humans who consume contaminated food sources. Moreover, releasing mercury into the atmosphere can result in long-distance transportation, contaminating regions far from its origin. This atmospheric dispersion only adds to the global scale of the problem, raising concerns about widespread environmental contamination and the need for international national collaboration to mitigate its effects. Number 6. Ernest Shackleton's 100-Year-Old Huts and the Remarkable Fruitcake Ernest Shackleton, a British explorer, is celebrated for his heroic expeditions to Antarctica in the early 20th century. During his renowned Nimrod expedition between 1907 to 1909 and the Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition from 1914 to 1917, Shackleton's team established two huts on the continent, one at Cape Royds and the other at Cape Evans. Built over a century ago, these huts are enduring symbols of human perseverance in the harshest environments. They provided crucial shelter for for Shackleton and his teams as they braved the extreme cold, isolation, and relentless storms while conducting scientific research and making epic journeys across the frozen wastelands. In 2017, conservators from the Antarctic Heritage Trust made an astonishing discovery within one of these huts, a hundred-year-old fruitcake. The cake was remarkably well-preserved, wrapped in paper and contained within a tin. Despite its age, the fruitcake retained its original taste and texture, offering a tangible connection to the past. The fruitcake was a staple of the explorer's diet during their expeditions. It served as a source of sustenance and energy, providing a glimpse into the challenges faced by those who ventured into the Antarctic wilderness. The cake's longevity highlights the region's extreme cold and dry conditions, which inadvertently contributed to its preservation. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the image on your screen, there appears to be an ape-like creature, probably a yeti frozen in time. Uncertain about the authenticity of this picture, it is a known fact that explorers are always prepared to venture into extreme locations, such as Antarctica, in their quest to unearth the unimaginable. What they uncovered, frozen in ice, shocked the whole world. The legendary Yeti, said to reside in the Himalayan mountain range in Asia, is a creature of mystery. If it were real, its reported features would likely be adaptations to the harsh mountain environment. The Yeti's thick, insulating hair and robust skin would provide exceptional protection against the extreme cold and biting wind winds of the high altitudes. These adaptations would help them retain body heat and survive in sub-zero temperatures. Their massive, muscular limbs would be essential for navigating the rugged, mountainous terrain. Strong legs could aid in climbing steep slopes, while powerful arms might help them traverse rocky landscapes and maintain balance on precarious ledges. Their adapted physiology would likely enable them to move with agility and speed in this challenging environment. Furthermore, their large size could be an advantageous adaptation, as it would minimize heat loss and potentially deter predators. The Yeti, if it existed, would represent a remarkable example of nature's ability to evolve in response to its surroundings, making it a truly enigmatic and awe-inspiring creature of the Himalayas. Do you think the Yetis are real? What's the weirdest thing that you've seen frozen? Share your answers with us in the comments section below. Number 5. An Ancient Rainforest in Antarctica, Unveiling Earth's Enigmatic Past in 2017, scientists stumbled upon an astounding find in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, an ancient rainforest dating back to the Cretaceous period, approximately 90 million years ago. This discovery was made possible due to the fossilized remains of ancient plant life, including diverse flora such as ferns, conifers, and flowering plants. The existence of an ancient rainforest in Antarctica presents a stark contrast to the continent's current climate, characterized by extreme cold and ice. Antarctica was positioned 
positioned much closer to the South Pole during the Cretaceous period, but it had a significantly milder climate than today. This rainforest flourished when the continent was not covered by ice, and its average temperatures were considerably higher. Scientists believe that during this period, elevated atmospheric carbon dioxide levels, commonly called the greenhouse effect, contributed to the temperate climate. This enabled lush vegetation to thrive, creating a haven for diverse plant life and potentially supporting a range of unique animal species. Number 4. Dinosaur Fossil Antarctica, once a thriving part of the supercontinent Gondwana, holds a fascinating secret beneath its icy expanse, the remnants of dinosaurs that once roamed this frozen continent. While Antarctica's current conditions are inhospitable for most life forms, the discovery of dinosaur fossils in recent years has unveiled an intriguing chapter in Earth's history. The first dinosaur fossil found in Antarctica was reported in the 1980s, and since then, numerous discoveries have been made. These fossils provide valuable insights into the ancient past of this continent, helping scientists understand how life thrived in Antarctica during the Age of Dinosaurs, which spanned approximately 180 million years. During the Mesozoic era, Antarctica was not the icy wasteland we know today. Instead, it had a temperate climate, lush vegetation, and diverse terrestrial and marine life. It was a landmass that supported various dinosaurs, including both herbivorous and carnivorous species. Dinosaur fossils found in Antarctica include sauropods, theropods, and ornithopods. These discoveries have offered glimpses into these prehistoric creatures' size, anatomy, and behavior. For instance, the discovery of a sauropod nicknamed Antarctosaurus shed light on the existence of large, long-necked herbivores in the region. Number 3. Elongated Skulls in Antarctica by Julio Telo in 1928, Julio Telo, a pioneering explorer deeply interested in Antarctica's mysteries, embarked on a daring expedition to the frozen continent. His team ventured deep into the Antarctic wilderness, facing treacherous conditions and extreme cold in search of geological and archaeological evidence. During the expedition, Telo's team stumbled upon a startling find, elongated skulls buried beneath the ice and snow. Unlike the typical human cranial shape, these skulls featured elongated and pointed heads, reminiscent of ancient civilizations like the Paracas culture of Peru and the ancient Egyptians. The discovery of elongated skulls in Antarctica posed profound questions for scientists and researchers. It challenged established theories about the continent's history, suggesting the possibility of a previously unknown ancient civilization that inhabited Antarctica in the distant past. The skulls became subjects of intense study and debate within the scientific community. Number 2. Frozen Sinkholes in Siberia Siberia, known for its vast expanses of frozen landscapes, is home to an astonishing natural phenomenon recently gaining global attention, frozen sinkholes, also known as methane craters. These mysterious craters, appearing as openings in the Siberian permafrost, indicate complex geological processes and the profound impacts of climate change on the region. The formation of these frozen sinkholes is primarily attributed to the release of methane gas trapped beneath the Siberian permafrost. As global temperatures rise, the permafrost thaws, causing the once frozen ground to become unstable. This process allows methane, a potent greenhouse gas, to escape underground reservoirs. When the gas accumulates and reaches critical pressure, it can trigger explosions, creating distinctive sinkholes. Siberia's frozen sinkholes are not static, but dynamic features that continue to evolve. Mounds of ejected material surround some, and others display a mix of ice, soil, and debris. These features offer scientists valuable insights into the region's geological history and the interactions between permafrost, ice, and gas. The release of methane from these sinkholes has raised concerns about its impact on global climate change. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas with a significantly higher warming potential than carbon dioxide over shorter timescales. The increasing frequency of these sinkholes in Siberia contributes to the release of methane into the atmosphere, exacerbating global warming. Number 1. Frozen Mummies Found in the Icy Grasp of Pico de Orizaba High on the slopes of Mexico's Pico de Orizaba, the tallest volcano in North America, an unexpected and chilling discovery sent shockwaves through the climbing community and local authorities alike. It was a scene reminiscent of the dramatic openings of crime investigation TV shows like CSI. The dramatic event unfolded when a climber suddenly slipped, only to find themselves face to face with a haunting sight, a mummified head and arm protruding from the snow. The climber's shock and disbelief quickly turned into alarm, leading them to contact the 
authorities immediately. As news of the discovery spread, it drew attention from around the region. Authorities were dispatched to the remote location to investigate further. What they uncovered was both fascinating and unsettling. Two additional frozen mummies were eventually revealed, entombed in the icy grasp of Pico de Orizaba. Among the team of investigators, there was an unexpected twist in the tale. An 81-year-old man named Luis Espinosa, who had been part of a tragic expedition that unfolded on these very slopes in 1959, came forward with astonishing revelations. Luis Espinosa claimed to recognize one of the mummies, not by their face, but by their distinctive clothing and jewelry. One man's shirt and a ring bearing the man's initials were the keys to unlocking this eerie mystery. Luis Espinosa's recollections provided crucial context for the authorities, confirming that these were the remains of individuals lost during that ill-fated expedition over six decades ago. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.